What is going on everybody, King John here, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have some news regarding Melty Blood Type Lumina. I know I haven't been uploading it a lot on the channel. And that's because there are so a few issues that I have with the game that ultimately have made me play it less and focus more on Guilty Gear Strive. But we have big news regarding the game today. Today has been revealed that we're gonna get a season pass for the game. They're gonna add four new characters and four new stages and some story content plus balance updates, which is huge news because French bread games usually don't get DLC characters. Whatever new characters that they get they usually just bring them in new versions of the game so having a season pass is something brand new for them and honestly i just wanted to talk about it wanted to see what characters they could add and maybe do some predictions here and there and see what happens now to lay out some ground rules about this first of all i'm not really taking the tsukihime visual novel or remake into account so for example if i say any character and somebody says oh but that character is dead or that character is a spoiler or that character is this or that i don't really care i'm honestly just looking at characters that have been in previous games and i feel they could add more to the game and honestly they just kind of look cool so yeah just putting it out there the Tsukihime visual novel slash remake i'm not really taking into account at all but before we get into the list guys be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 500 subscribers we are extremely close we are right there let's try to hit it before the end of the year it only takes two clicks to second of your time and i would really appreciate it and if you guys want to catch me live i'll be twitch.tv forward slash king john on the sword tv so now let's start with the list first character that i feel is going to be added into the season pass is going to be nero slash chaos now when i looked up this character i saw the website refer to him as chaos or whatever but then a lot of people refer to him as nero so i'm just going to call him nero and honestly he seems to be one of the more popular characters and one of the more sought after characters in melty blood he's basically a guy with a bunch of demons or shadows coming out of him that he can control he's like a freaking alchemist or something like that he's really really out there he's one of the more crazier characters that i've seen coming out of Tsukihime slash melty blood i don't know jack about his lore but he seems to be a character that can add a new type of playstyle into Melty Blood. Something kind of like a, like a, somewhat of a maybe puppet character. Though, so the gameplay I've seen of him, he seems to play as a character that has very long normals, can set up Oki, ha can have long range attacks with the shadows or demons or whatever the hell they are. He sets up freaking birds and dogs for Oki. He's like really out there and weird. And I feel like he will be a great addition because he's just so different. He also seems to be a pretty popular character as a lot of people ask for him. And I see him playing like Blob in a way, except Blob has like full screen moves. I kind of see, see this character as having long normals, you know, maybe they'll transition some of his Oki game. Who knows what they could do, but I definitely see him getting put into the game sooner or later. Next character on the list is going to be Alko, who is basically the red haired chick that everybody called Dripless on Twitter. Now Alko, I don't know, like I said, I'm not really taking lore into this, into account in this list, but at the same time, I do see her in a lot of the, a lot of the art, a lot of the promotional stuff for Tsukihime, so I feel like she's a pretty big character and comes in terms of lore, so I don't see why they wouldn't put her into the game. In terms of gameplay, the gameplay I've seen of her, I don't know if it's entirely accurate, but she was setting up orbs and she was like trying to be, like she could activate the orbs in a way with moves. She was playing kind of a little bit of a zoner in a way, she was playing seen the orbs in, in, in certain spacing so she can get her game plan going and whenever she got a knockdown she would set up an orb for Oki and that's definitely a different type of playstyle that we haven't seen in Tide Lumina yet as I, if I remember correctly there hasn't really been a character that just sets things up on the screen a la like Venom or anything like that the only character that sets up Oki and situations are made so having a character like this if they if, if she plays exactly how I'm seeing right now it, it would make sense as she's like a, a pretty new and a, a new character she would basically be a new type of archetype a new playstyle for the game she'll play very very differently than the rest of the cast uh and lore wise she seems to be extremely important so i'm not really sure if that would matter at all like i said i'm not really taking lore into this but she seems rather important like i said gameplay wise she seems to be a completely new archetype something new for the game to experiment with and yeah it, just putting her into the game makes a lot of sense the third character that i would want on the list is gonna be the king the chat himself freaking nanaya now nanaya is basically just gonna be shiki but shiki like on a crack honestly it wouldn't make that much sense to putting this character into the game in a gameplay perspective and a game design perspective simply because nanaya is kind of already in the game if you play shiki and you get the the super off you get a nanaya install so you basically get his move set but at the same time i feel like they could make him different in a way maybe they could give the moves that shiki would get he gets more options out of them or her his has different properties for example maybe they could have him just empty cancel the, the freaking run through dash thing that um, if you guys know what i'm talking about i just see them putting him into the game and just making him a different version of shiki like how i was in the older multi-blood games 
Like, I don't know, make Nanaya have more mix-up. Like, make him a more mix-up version of Shiki. Give him fast falls, give him freaking true high lows, give him 50-50s, give him all the crazy shit. Let's make him more of a mix-up character, at, and then Shiki's the more grounded footsies character. Well, not grounded, but you know, the more footsies character. But like I said, putting him into the game in a gameplay perspective doesn't make that much sense, because you would be, if, if, essentially you would put in Shiki 2.0 when Nanaya, when, when there already are Nanaya moves in Shiki's moveset. But in the freaking marketing design the aspect, you know, my guy Nanaya apparently is like a living meme. He's like a living, <laughs> he's like one of the most popular characters in, the, in the, like the entire series for some reason. I see this dude all the time. Everybody always shits posts about him. And putting him into the game just makes like something they would do. It just makes sense. It would probably sell the pass in a way. And a lot of people seem to say when he was in the, in the freaking starting roster of the game. So... I feel like it just makes a lot of sense in a lot of in a lot of ways in the marketing aspect, but in the gameplay aspect, not really that much sense. Like I said, his move says already in the game. Like Shiki basically covers for both himself and Nanaya, so it, I don't know. Point being, I feel like they should just put him into the game just to sell the pass. That's all I'm trying to say. All right, moving on. Oh, and by the way, this isn't in some sort of order. Like I'm not saying like they will be released in this order or anything like that. This, this is just the order I went with off the top of my head. But they could do a couple things with the last slot. They could have another guest character, right? They could have a, a guest character from Fate, just how they have with Saber or anything like that. Like, just imagine they could, they would add like Archer or Lancer or Gilgamesh or whatever as another guest character for Fate. That would probably sell the game even more, and that would probably be the smart thing to do. Like, why not just put in more guest characters? Guest characters sell freaking games. But honestly, I see them doing a character called Satsuki. I for some reason saw a lot of requests for this character in the Twitter post, and I don't really know a lot about the character, but from what I can see in the gameplay, she seems like a crazy bitch. She would definitely be like more of another brawler archetype um, that the game already kind of has. There's already a lot of brawlers, but for some reason, I see her being a popular character as she's being requested quite a bit in this Twitter post. Honestly, she's one of the more blander looking characters in terms of design and gameplay from what I've seen. Like, the only really, like, notable stood out features that she looks like a crazy bitch. Like, it, it, it looks like they just slapped Wark's personality on a different character. She looks like a freaking... Like, she, she looks like she plays as, like, a mixture of, like, Ark and Miyako. It's weird. I don't really know how to explain her. She's rather one of the more mundane characters, honestly. But apparently she's very popular, so... If that's, the, if that's the case, then it only makes sense to add her to the game. But honestly, if I had to choose, I will definitely pick another guest character. Like, obviously, it's not really up to me. Well, none of this is up to me. But, you know, if I was the freaking the freaking designers, if I was the one making the choices over there at French Bread and Type Moon, then I would put on another fate character as, the, as one of the characters in this past. Notably being, like, Archer or Lancer or whatever. You know, another uh, popular fate, you know, character that a lot of people know about and yeah that's pretty much the list they only said they were adding four characters in, in this past not five or six they said they were at one stage with each character and it's apparently gonna last all the way to late 2022 ish so it's probably gonna be a while till we get this full pass but that's pretty much my prediction list i don't really expect any of these to come true I, I feel like i'm gonna have at least one of these right at least one of these characters is gonna get put in for all i know they could add a completely brand new character into this game just how they did like with blob blob is like a brand new character and noel too but who knows? I'm pretty confident that one of these four is gonna get in, whether that be Nero or Nanaya or Aoko or freaking Satsuki or whatever. One of them is gonna get into this pass. And yeah, let me know what character you guys wanna see in this pass. Let me know what characters I, I forgot about that are obvious choices. I'm not necessarily a big, huge, multi blood fan or historian or Tsukihime or anything like that. So maybe there's an obvious option that I've missed. And maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section down below. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.